It really is. And, and Donna Kelsey, she's become such a celebrity now. I wonder once this is all said and done, if she can like auction off some of that the, the, the oh, custom the, clothes, right? And sign them off, you know? If she wants to. Almost as big a celebrity as her kids. Yeah, yeah. I love it. It's That'd really great. great. A lot to love about that whole story. All right, so not so much about the weather today. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Uh, you know, my bad. Uh, we've got 30s and 40s right now here in North Texas. North northwest wind at 10 to 20 miles an hour. So uh, it's not even about what the temperature map says. It's about the feels like temperature right now. And Denton feels like it's below freezing. McKinney feels like 32. Dallas feeling like 35 right now. And Fort Worth feeling like 33 degrees. With clouds lingering for a lot of us, wrap around moisture, some cold rain, and a few snowflakes mixing in. When we look at radar right now, we just had a report come in from the National Weather Service chat uh, near Sadler where we were seeing some snowflakes falling despite the temperature sitting at 39. Remember, we were dealing with this a couple of weeks ago. It's the temperature higher up in the atmosphere. It's not necessarily the temperature right at the surface. So a few wet snowflakes mixing in with some cold rain. Nothing is going to accumulate, but we're going to continue to watch this tonight. Uh, you notice as we go closer to the 7, 8 o'clock time frame. You have some cold showers in Denton and Tarrant counties, and then you still have uh, some cold rain going on closer towards the Red River. And then as we head towards the 10, 30, 11 o'clock hour, I don't think we have to be concerned about any accumulations, but you've got some wet snowflakes mixing in with that cold rain in Collin County and northern Dallas County as well. The clouds are going to linger, and the precip chances are going to linger through the early morning hours. Here we are at 6 a.m. tomorrow, and you see to the east of I-35, it's cloudy. Temperatures are going to be a little warmer to the east thanks to that cloud cover compared to the west of I-35, where clear skies lead to colder temperatures. This is very apparent, right? So we're talking about the clearer the skies, temperatures in the 20s tomorrow morning, and then where the clouds are still lingering, we've got mid and upper 30s. I do think into tomorrow afternoon, if you're east of I-35, it may still be a cloudier day for you tomorrow. And that's going to prevent the temperatures from warming up too much. Low 50s to the east of I-35, kind of low to mid 50s for the Metroplex, and then you see some mid and maybe even some upper 50s out to the west of I-35. But by Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, we've got partly cloudy skies, highs in the mid 60s. It's actually a very warm start to next week, but especially Monday night into Tuesday, we're watching for some heavy rain. And then 76 on Wednesday, down to 48 next Thursday, guys. All right. Aaron, thank you very much.